If you've missed any of the earlier episodes of the Great Tastes series and want to see the shows and get all the recipes, go to greattastesmb.ca. Watch them when you want to watch them. Sheep pan suppers with Manitoba chicken tonight. Very simple. However, we're going to sort of uh, take things up a notch here, Karen Armstrong. Uh, yes. This is like very easy, but something that uh, we can kind of fancy it up a little bit. Absolutely. That's kind of the idea here, This right? one has the wow factor if you're wanting to entertain. Same concept, you know, bowl, sheet pan, oven. Quick, But the dishes. flavors we're using are just going to make it pop even more. Well, let's get into that because there's right. a lot going on here. Yes, yes. Um, this recipe has more steps than the other two that we've, we've done. We're starting, again, in a bowl I've got butternut squash, parsnips. If you're not a parsnips fan, use carrots. Not everybody's into parsnips, mm. but they're pretty tasty. Uh, red onion uh, and of course chicken. About three pounds of bone-in chicken pieces. Uh, this is variety, so I've got breast, wing, thigh, drumstick. You can do all of the same thing as if you. For everybody. Yep, yeah. Whatever, whatever you want to do. And I just wanted to mention really quickly because I think something we had talked about was uh, the the squash in particular. Mm -hmm. You can buy the pre. Oh yes. Because squash is like my least favorite vegetable. I think to could be just only because you have to work around the the peel and all of that. Yes. But the, so that's one option for you. I just wanted yeah. to, to the cubed that. butternut squash in the store is super fast. It's it's a great uh, yeah. great idea. So to this, we're going to add uh, sort of a, a sauce slash glaze. What what is this? What is this All sauce right. of which you speak? Because it okay, looks we're starting. Um, the sauce takes about fifteen to twenty minutes to do. So I've made it ahead to allow the flavors to blend. You can do it the night before. There's certainly nothing wrong with that. But um, main ingredients. We're starting with pomegranate juice. Fabulous flavor. We're adding orange juice to that and then I'm gonna put it in a pot and uh, let it bu bubble until it reduces to about a quarter of the original uh, amount of liquid. You kind of turn it into a syrup. It's syrup. Yeah. That's exactly what I've done. And then once that syrup cools, uh, I'm going to add thyme, a little cinnamon, a little cumin, some pepper and salt. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, yeah. Uh, and then some canola oil. Perfect. So that's what I've got in here. All right. Uh, and I'll get you to give that a shake and shake drizzle shake. Uh, on top of our uh, veggies and our chicken. Okay. The reason I'm use doing the, the syrup in... Uh, this first? Oh, you definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of flavor. Sometimes when you're having to mix, mix something like this, it's much easier to dump all your ingredients into a little bowl with a lid and literally shake them together For rather sure. than trying to, to whisk yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then... All you're going to do is just toss this so that all of the, the things get covered in that fabulous sauce. And the color is just so oh, nice. Pomegranate nice. is just beautiful color and beautiful flavor. It's got a nice little tartness to it. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's all done. Like, does it, if it retains sort of that pinky? A little bit, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so right. then this is going on our, our sheet pan, greased sheet pan again. Okay, and then you want to make sure that you get all of that little bit of sauce sure. in there. Okay, no spread waste. it out so that uh, you you know you try and get everything in a single layer if you possibly can. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it doesn't uh, doesn't work out a hundred percent. Look at how eager I am. I've already got these guys on. <laughs> Well, that's, I wanna, there's one in the oven that, that uh, we need to get out. We're going to do this. Try switch, and yeah. put it skin up if you can, for the most part. Okay, I think that's probably going to be as good, good as go? we want to do. All right. All right. Here we go. Switch so, 450 degrees, and that's going to be in the oven for about half an hour. And then we need to pull it out, which is what you've got right now. This oh. is our cooked after 30 minutes. This is just 30 minutes, and it 30 smells minutes. extraordinary. So we've got a couple more things that we want to do to this. I've got some chicken broth. Stage two. Stage two. Chicken broth just, pour just right gets on poured. There. And you'll notice, this is really important, with the other two sheet pans, you could get away with a sheet pan that didn't have a rim on it, the, yeah. a, a lip. This one, you absolutely have to have some kind of a lip here to catch the chicken Makes broth. Sense, yeah. And then I've got some whole pecans, and we're just going to sprinkle the pecans wherever they're going to toast up really nicely. Oh my God, this is amazing, Karen. And then this is going to go back in the oven. So I'll get you to do As that is, right now. Yes. Yep, just okay. the way it is right now. Back in the oven for about uh, 30 more minutes. We're going to do switch number three. Going to switcheroo. Yep. All right. So lots of back and forth to the oven. A little bit, yeah. 
You okay? Do you need me to get the oven? Uh, yeah, you know what? If you could, that'd be the, great. I just go. don't want to take any chances. But yeah, there we go. Let's That's put it the that one. one. All right. Yeah. And in that one goes okay. Oh my gosh. Hello. So this is what you're looking for after 30 minutes. You want to make sure your chicken is done. You want to test it with your meat thermometer. And what's the done again? What's 170 the degrees 170. Fahrenheit is your done temperature. Now I see you've added, or what's been added here, we've got like some actual pomegranate seeds. Yes, some pomegranate seeds and um, just put a little bit of mint leaves in there uh, and some grated orange rind to again play on the flavor that was in our original sauce. Okay. So uh, a little bit of that. And before you dive into the chicken in this, oh, no, again, more waiting. More, more waiting. waiting. I'm sorry. You That's have what to give waiting. it. You have to give it at least 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah. But you know what? Um, and I don't have a fork here. Oh, yes, I do. Do you want to taste one of I'd the veggies? Love to. There yes, you go. I'd love that. Yeah. I guess for the 10 minutes while we're waiting, we, you know. You we, can eat we, the vegetables. We eat the vegetables. I was going to say we get Aaron back in here and we have a little glass of something. Oh, but we could. Yes. Just lots going on. You're um, getting some of the, of the pomegranate and the orange flavor? Absolutely. And a little bit of cumin. Mm hmm. Absolutely spectacular. Um, and look at how fancy it is. Like, exactly. So, beautiful. I mean, you could do this for a weeknight or, you know, invite your friends over, family, save and special. save it for something special. So, sheet pans really, you know, it's a very easy way to cook dinner you know, without a lot of mess. Yeah. So, pomegranate orange chicken. Uh, when we come back, we get Erin. Uh, yes. Erin gets to come back, and we're going to do some beverage pairings with these amazing sheet pan dinners uh, with Manitoba chicken and great taste of Manitoba. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba, brought to you in part by Manitoba Liquor Mart. Enjoy responsibly.